Hi ladies, it's Karen, and this is a video response for Gisela over at Lavish Laces on Etsy and here on YouTube. She is having a one year anniversary giveaway challenge. And this is really sweet. She's having a pay it forward challenge. So the challenge was to create something for someone or bless someone, um, pay it forward, like bless someone with a rack or, or what have you. And there are several ways in which you can res respond to this challenge. You can do a video response like this and link it to her YouTube, her YouTube, um, original YouTube video. And I'll put her information below. Or you can um, send a picture or the video to her email or her Facebook. So I'll try to gather that information and uh, put it or I'll put a link to her giveaway, um, original giveaway video be below so that you can um, find the details for her challenge. So anyway, I, um, this past weekend I was packing up some racks and I normally don't share these types of, um, these types of like little projects, but um, I thought I would um, for Gisela's challenge. So. Um, what I what I have done is, you know, whenever I, I send a rack, um, I usually offer a little bag or this or this and that, and you know, you put the goodies inside. So this is um, an altered glassine bag, and uh, I added some um, Tim Holtz tissue tape on the bottom with some of this adhesive. Uh, ribbon that you can find at Michael's and a little heart and I used a black doily here with some with um, a, a wing that I've cut out and a half of a black doily with some cheesecloth and Prima uh, Prima flowers and the Scrabble tile is for her initial this is for Wanda Boxy Bell here on YouTube and I just um, stapled the bag closed with this little um, what do you call it? It's like a ribbon ticket from uh, Melissa Francis. So that was one. And uh, I altered this bag. I created this bag using music paper. Let's see if I can get this better. Maybe that's not better. <laughs> but I altered this bag using um, music sheet paper. And I just adhered two sheets of the music sheet paper together using um, score tape. Um, I accented all the sides with vintage photo distress ink. On the bottom here, I went over it with some of this sequins trim from Hobby Lobby, really sweet sequins and um, organza. And then I used this Martha Stewart um, fiber that I got at Joann's, really cute, and a little seashell there. And I went over that with some of the texture mixture that I had made up. Um, and I used some of the texture mixture throughout the bag. And the image that you see here is this stamp that I had gotten, I believe, I forgot where I got it. I think Joann's, but it's by Stampendous. And she's the cutest mermaid there ever was. <laughs> So I covered her in with my Tim Holtz Distress Markers um, and kind of tried to give it a, um, a watercolor look. Um, I added, um, I, I cut out the, uh, the sorry, <laughs> the Tim Holtz Baroque die and that's where I stamped my image. Then I went around the image with some more of the vintage photo. And after I colored her in and sprayed her with some scintillating silver, I added some sequins to X act as ocean bubbles or whatever. Um, these flowers are cra from Crafty Supplies 1. I added some more sequins throughout and some more of this texture that I really love to use. It's the acrylic paint mixed with sand and you can visit uh, Linda at faithychick777 um, for instructions on using that in technique. And then I added some ribbon to the top with this um, flower that I had in my stash and I had added some more of the texture to the to the rose and I just folded this flap down 
and then I, I punched it using my recollections. Um, I think it's recollections punch there to give it a decorative edge. Then I added the trim. And um, I don't think I did anything. No, I didn't do anything to the back. So um, there's a, a some goodies in there for, for someone. And another altered bag that I had created. Uh, it's an altered glassine bag, and I just took a sheet of music, music paper. I love using music sheet, you know, vintage music sheet paper in my projects. I just think it's so cool and vintage, and you know. So I used some washi tape here, and some of the same. Um, oh no, this is Joanne's ribbon. Uh, added some fibers with uh, the initial. This one is is for. Um, I'm not going to say. <laughs> but anyway, um, there's an I Am Roses there and a little doily from Julie the Paper Bag Lady. And a really sweet image that I got from the internet here. Really cute. And then I had created this charm a long time ago, and I'm going to send this off to my friend. And inside this bag is also some goodies. So um, those are my... Those are my shares, and um, check out Gisela over at Lavish Laces and visit her Etsy shop. Um, she's celebrating one year that her shop has been open, and um, I think this is a, a great way to celebrate that uh, pay it forward, a pay it forward um, challenge. And um, it's just it's just a wonderful idea. So. Um, so there you go. I'll, I'll put Gisela's information below so you can check her out. Thanks so much for watching, ladies. Bye-bye now.